Hello fellow customizers, today I'm customizing a pair of Avengers Air Force Ones. Now starting off, anytime you work with leather, you must first remove the factory finish and I am doing so with a rag and an acetone from Angela Strict. Acetone will tear up your hands. It is best to use gloves and be extra thorough, get in every nook and cranny. I am dyeing my leather blue. This will ultimately be a very light blue finish. However, I feel a little bit more comfortable with so many layers going on top of a blue leather rather than a white leather. I am also using that exact same blue leather dye to dye the threading along the soles. I also want to dye the sock liner, so I'm using equal parts too soft, equal parts dark blue, both from Angelus Direct. My sock liner looking perfect. It's time to heat set and you must heat set to soft for three to five minutes. Adhesion promoter is absolutely not necessary. However, I find it helps my paint stick a little bit better. So I do a quick layer of adhesion promoter right before I add my paint onto the leather. I pre-mixed my dark blue from Angelus Direct with duller, white, and too thin, and I am now applying it on top of the sticky Bulldog Adhesion Promoter surface. I trace the side of the Air Force One with a bit of tissue paper just to ensure all of my comic book superheroes thoroughly fit. And I am using Sorol transfer paper to transfer my line work and an Amazon affiliate link to the Sorol transfer paper can be found down below in the description. Iron Man is glued to the white Sorol transfer paper and I am just relining the fingertips and it will produce a white chalk line beneath on the surface of the shoe. This chalk line is super easy to follow. It wipes away with a damp cloth or an eraser and it'll make sure all of my proportions are correct. On to the Spider-Man side, I am doing a quick city background. Spider-Man just to make sure all my webbing is in the right places. I cut out different sections of the blue Sorol transfer paper and reapplied my stencil accordingly.
A toothpick is handy just to create some tiny stars in the background. Sometimes it's best to keep your Sorol stencil taped on so that your reference is right in front of you and you can quickly refer to it as needed. Almost time to lace these up, however before I lace, I will use a matte acrylic finisher from Angelus Direct. And these are the complete Marvel Avengers Custom Air Force Ones. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me through my Instagram or my website. Both links are down below as are links to all the products I use in this video. Big thanks Angelus Direct for the paints and thanks guys for watching.